All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Um, you know, the music is uh, presenting something happy, and uh, supposedly we are talking about heaven. And you know, when somebody uh, speak about Islam, you imagine yourself uh, living in a very a beautiful area, beach, beautiful water. You will run in the beach, and there is a lot of women chasing you. Yeah, they will grab you from under the sand. Some of them, they will be hiding under the sand. The others, they will be like a mermaid. So if you get in the water, they will get you. If you go in the beach, they will get you. If you go under the tree, they will grab you. But this is not the truth about Islam. Islam doesn't say that. Islam says there is a woman waiting for you and they are jailed in their tent. They are what? They are jailed in their tent. Who said that? No CP. It doesn't say that CP. You know, it does say that. <laughs> so the heaven of Allah is nothing but a tent full of women. This is the truth. It's a tent. It's a big, huge tent full of women and barbecue. So if you're imagining that you go to heaven, you will see this. You are mistaken, my friend. This is something you can see in Indonesia, you can see maybe in USA, uh, you know, Caribbean islands, uh, you know, I mean, but you cannot see it. You will not see this in the heaven of Allah. In the heaven of Allah, there's one thing, tent full of women and boom, boom. And uh, to prove what I'm saying, <clears throat> this is the Quran. Those hur, you see here, they're translated as companions. It doesn't say companions. It says hur, who they are transparent. Uh, you can see through their bones secluded in their tents that's it those women they will never see the sun those women they will never see anything they are secluded which means they are jailed there for eternity so where is the heaven of Allah this is one thing the other thing in the heaven of Allah, if you are a very good Muslim, not normal Muslim, very good, you know, like you already deserve the best, Allah will transform you into a green bird. I'm not sure what the green bird is, but it might be a chicken. Now, here I ask myself, so Allah will make me a green bird, and then he promised me women? Okay, how this rooster will have sex with those women? If you go to the book of Ibn Kathir, and this is the book of Ibn Kathir, not me. No, CP. It doesn't say that. See. <laughs> it says, <clears throat> we ask Messenger of Allah the same question. About what? About those the Quran says that when they die, they are alive. Okay, they are get killed. Those are the murder. All right. It says here in Arabic, Arwahuhum fi jawfi tayrin khudrin. What is that? Let us see the English. Their soul are inside the green birds that have lamps. <laughs> so I worship this God. I kissed his black stone. I go around the Kaaba. I bow down to nothing because the earth is not a flat. And then at the end, and I die for Allah, and I kill Christian and Jews, and they cut me pieces, and they make me shish kebab like 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 uh, like Suleimani or a Suleimani, what his name, and Al Baghdadi and Osama bin Laden, and they feed me to the fish, and then at the end I will become a chicken and green. This is really what I will get. I was fighting with Taliban for thirty years, twenty years with Al Qaeda. Spend my life bowing down to you, kissing black stone, going around the rock, throwing rocks at the house of the devil, but there's nobody there. And after all this, I will become a green bird and I will have a lamp. Are you serious? Yes, brother. <clears throat> a brother. I mean, isn't it this is beautiful? <clears throat> isn't it this is beautiful?
the prophet said who said the prophet oh this is the eve cp okay we can find you something stronger and you can see this quote in it the soul of the believers are a green are any green birds eating from a tree in paradise <laughs> So you promised me I will eat birds, and then at the, at, at the end I am a bird. Isn't it the Quran says, "Walahmu tayran min mayyashtahun," and the the meat of a bird, as as they wish. So uh, green bird will eat from the tree. There's no meat. So you are a bird now, and you are a vegetarian for the rest of your eternity. What is this? <clears throat> the soul the prophet said the soul of those murderers life in the body of a green bird who have their rest in the chandelier hang from the throne of the almighty <laughs> so i will end in a, as a green bird in the chandelier <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is a green bird Osama bin Laden was reading Quran this is uh, what a stupidity so you promise us women okay those are murder you promised them a lot of women now they are a green bird so how they will have sex with the women they will use their peak when this green bird he is going to have sex with the women <clears throat> ah, we lost connection uh, no I think now is good you will hear me soon what I can do you know the internet sometimes is bad so now you are a green bird and now the women are naked in the front of you and now you want to have sex with who with female women So what you will say to those women, let me change my feather, take off my pant or what? I mean, what exactly would happen? How you would do that? How does God who promised me all those female, which each time I do boom, boom with them, he will make them version. And yet you are a bird. You are a bird. You are a chicken. And you die for the sake of Allah. Allah reward you. You became a bird hanging in the chandelier of Allah. Have fun, my friend. I mean, what do you want more? What do you want more from being a green bird in the chandelier of Allah? Which is coming under the ass of Allah, as you see, because this is coming under the throne of Allah, not in the top. For sure, he will put you underneath because Allah, he will not allow the green bird to piss on him. I mean, pff, that's not nice. So you will be under the ass of Allah. Not only you are a green bird now, you are hanged in a little, whatever they call it, chandelier, whatever it is, it's a hook, under the ass of Allah, and you will be there. And this is supposedly is your reward. <clears throat> hmm? What is that? Those are the murders from Taliban. They are reciting the Shahada. And they are saying Takbir. Obviously, uh, the one who made this statement, he have a mental illness. I'm serious. He have a, literally a mental illness. And to believe in this, you have to be a mental... I mean, why Allah... Okay, isn't it a human being is the best shape supposedly God created for you Muslims? So is Allah downgrading you or upgrading you by making you a green bird? 
I want to know. Is that an upgrade or downgrade? As I know that when Allah He uh, uh, cursed the Jews, He made them pigs and monkeys. So He downgrade them. In different hadith, He made them rats. In different hadith, He made them lizard. Because Muhammad is very confused about what Allah made of the Jews. He hate them very much. So, obviously, according to the Quran, if your God, He is upset from you, He will make you an animal. So how now you are the best for him, yet he is making you a bird. Hmm? So, <clears throat> and not only that, guys, those birds, they will say to Allah, please, Allah, please, please, make us a human again. Allah will say to them, why? Why you want to be human again, huh? Why? They will say, so we can go and fight and come back and die for you. And look at this stupidity. Those people, they are obsession with murder. Those people, they are obsession with killing. Those people are obsessed, obsessed with bloodshed. It's fun. Allah, please, 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 let us be human again. And Allah said to them, but why you want to be human again? Read, read carefully with me. And then uh, they said, uh, Allah, he said to them, do you want anything? Allah, he said to them, do you want anything like what do you want now they are a bird remember they are birds they said uh, what more shall we desire oh, you mean what more you are being chicken now what what more than chicken you want to be that's it nothing you can dream of that's it this is the best you can you know you can reach or you can get uh, we eat fruit of paradise from wherever we like <laughs> their lord asked them the same question thrice three times again here we go you have to repeat the question three times trinity trinity everything in islam three times once it is not enough and when they saw they will continue to be asked and not left without answering the question <clears throat> they said oh lord we wish that thou might return our souls to our bodies <laughs> so that we may be slain <laughs> So now you are a chicken and you're a dream to come back as a human. And why you want to come back as a human? So you can be killed. You go, you kill people and you will die. And that is your dream. And then Allah will make you a green bird again. And then you go back to heaven. And then you ask Allah the same. Please Allah, please Allah, please, please make us a human again so we can go and get killed and come back. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid cult more than this? What is this? What is this? You are not satisfied with, with you, you you are not satisfied with being a green bird now? Come on, be honest. Brothers and sisters, if we go and do jihad, brother, we are going to turn into green birds. Hey, hold on, we, we need we need to give you some <clears throat> better understanding of this, uh, what we are talking about. Because maybe the image is not clear for some. Forget about the chicken. It says a green bird. It can't be a green chicken. We don't know. But let us say <clears throat> green bird. Generally speaking, green bird. I want the Muslims who they are in the chat to tell me which one you like to be out of those birds. You see, I just searched uh, for a green bird. <clears throat> Do you like to be this one? Or this one? That's beautiful, my friend. So you are going to be a green bird in the heaven. Mm -hmm. What else you will be? What else? Like maybe this one? Maybe this one? Mm -hmm. This one is a green too. Who wanna? Who of you Muslims really honestly, he would like to sacrifice his life to be a green bird? Get the honor to be a green bird. 
I mean, what's wrong with with being a green bird? I mean, what? Uh, I mean, this is this is, should be a, a a a dream for everybody. Green bird, you wish to be a green bird. And, and by the way, why are you green? Yeah, somebody is asking why green. What about the blue? Hmm. Hello. Um, by the way, this is not a. This is not a green. This is a like a green yellow. Uh, so this color is not right. We need to find the pure green because he said the green only. We have to be honest here, because the Muslim they will say, see, CB is lying. The it says a green bird. He is showing us a bird with colors. Well, we need to find the green. We just only green. And then now all the birds we see, they are not totally green, really. I mean, I cannot find really a, a pure green bird. I mean, the parrot is uh, the most close, close one. To be green but his peak is not a green so what we will do i think the peak will be green too <clears throat> oh boy exactly muhammad is promising those poor arab who live in the desert who green color is the best for them promise of an arab desert man but it doesn't sound right. And somebody saying in the chat actually sound like, sound like Hinduism. Exactly. Because Hindus, they believe that, uh, you know, there is a good soul and bad soul, supposedly. And, uh, you know, there is like a transaction of your body from a soul of maybe a, a tiger to a soul of a cockroach or a fly or a cat or a camel or a human. Depend who you wear. You know in the previous life so here Muhammad is accepting the teaching of Hindus and transforming his teaching into another form of Hinduism that if you are a great person Allah will make you a green bird do we have any Muslim any Muhammadan have a comment about this anyone Any Muhammadan? And by the way, how this bird will do, will do adult breastfeeding now? He have 70, uh, he have about 70, 70, 80,000 women. They have big boobs as the Quran described them. Okay, how he is going to enjoy the boobs of those women? He's a bird. Do you think he will stand on them? Maybe he will use his beak to tickle those nipples? Or maybe the sparrow, he will say, nipples, nipples, nipples. And the, the, the horse will say to you, yeah, you idiot, do something. <laughs> nipples, nipples. You stupid, stop saying nipples, do something. Nipples, nipples. Okay. And <clears throat> and then the, 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 the versions, they take off their panty. And then he will say, <clears throat> beep. She will, she will say to him, you, you idiot. Yeah, it is that. Do something. I cannot say the word <clears throat> this is God and this is religion and this is a promise of God I mean this promise does not fit even with a three years old kid this is stupid how God demigreed you from a human to a bird do you sound like better there I mean do you look you look better by the way and look at their eyes you know <clears throat> so I don't know like if there is any Muslim would like to uh, <clears throat> tell us what he think about this uh, any Muslim any Muhammadan who is a Muhammadan here be honest and you like to be a green bird which by the way this is the highest rank the highest rank in Islam is a green bird the Prophet himself he would be a green bird based on this because Muhammad is the highest and he's a murderer. He died by the poison by the Jew. Hmm? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> no, I cannot call Zakir Naik because Zakir Naik now, you know, you see, Zakir Naik already look like a green bird. Don't you see that be that beard? I mean, his beard alone looked like a bird beard, looked like a rooster, you know, something coming from his, I don't know what is that. I think this poor guy tried to grow a beard, but it's not working. 
maybe I should give him, you know, uh, <clears throat> My friend, adoption in Islam is forbidden. And secondly, uh, breastfeeding for a child. How if a woman, she do breastfeeding for a child, that will make him her son? That's stupid. I mean, this is literally stupid. This is kind of a, you know, Muhammad was obviously, you know, he's taking too much from the Hindus. You know, where the cow and the philosophy about the cow and etc. Otherwise, a woman, she is, uh, you know, so if, 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 your, if your son drink a cow milk, the cow became his mother? Secondly, Muhammad, he spoke about the breast adult feeding for, for adult, not only for children. Both ideas are stupid. Uh, <clears throat> those birds, they drop the elephant. No, those are diff those different birds. Different. Those are green. The, the, the other one, we do not know them. Yeah, we do not know how big, how what their color. We know nothing about the other birds. Or what we know, they are birds and they throw rocks. Mostly they are Arabian birds because we are the specialists in throwing rocks. I mean, <laughs> man, nobody can throw rocks like the Arab. Unbelievable. Like you install a brand new window, the second day a rock hit it. From where the rock came, nobody knows. Actually, in the Middle East, they, the, the kids, they enjoy you know, shooting rocks at the lamps, in the light in the street, in the front of their house. You believe it? I mean, you believe it? And their parents don't even tell them what they're doing. You will lose light. This is a free light for you from the, from the government. What they do... They throw rocks at the light, which is in the front of their house, which is for free. Anyway, <clears throat> very, very advanced civil society. Uh, so, you know, if you think about it always, uh, I wish all Muslims would be green birds. And you send us pictures, please. You know, like you go there, line up. Hmm? Like Zakir Naik, uh, all those names, you know, line up together, take a selfie. You know, I want to see a bunch of green birds lining up together in the heaven. And don't forget to take it when you are in the chandelier under the eyes of Allah. That will make it fantastic because by taking selfie under the eyes of Allah, I will see two things I will see your face and Allah's ass. That's amazing. Always when you try to understand the promises of Muhammad, you find that this person, he is full of fantasia, you know, and his fantasia is weird. It's, it's crazy, stupid. Doesn't, not only does it make sense, I mean, it's, it's not promising. Because are you trying to seduce me to die for you or you're trying to make me run away? How in the world you promise me if I die, I will live. And then you say to me, you will live inside. The... Look, and he look what he said. He said their soul will be inside the green bird, which means they are not even the green bird. They are going to be inside a green bird. Did you read it? Let me show you again. Hold on. <clears throat> he said the souls of those murder, the souls of the murderers live in the bodies of a green bird, which means those are birds. And your soul will be jailed inside that bird. What is that, man? So Allah will take your soul and he will insert your soul inside the body of a bird. This is not you. This is a bird, but now your soul is inside that body. Have fun. <laughs> um, really, oh. It's like what they call it, <clears throat> the Mexican sandwich. I don't know what they call it, Mexican sandwich. I'm not Mexican. I wish I am Mexican. I love Mexican food. You know, like, so you are now a soul. Okay, you die. Now you are a soul. And now Allah is looking for a body for you. <laughs> what body I will give them? What body I will give them? Allah, look around him. He saw a bunch of green birds. He said, hey, bingo. All the souls go inside those green birds. Yeah, taco, taco, taco green bird. <laughs> what the heck is that, man? What is this?
Okay, a question. Why why green birds? What's wrong with the red one? Uh, what's wrong with the black one? No way, man. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Muhammad, imagine you are now a murder for Allah and Allah he put you inside the black bird. <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> yeah, remember in Islam, black are not allowed. No black is allowed in the heaven of Allah. So, you know, I mean, Islam not only stupid cult, Islam is a kind of madness. Muhammad is trying now here to, sub so to seduce people to die. Just die for me. Die for me. And he stay home between the legs of his wives, reading Quran there, searching for inspiration. But you go and die, and you die so you can be a green bird. Don't you want to be a green bird? Hmm? Man, it's my favorite day. It's a green bird day. I mean, no wonder they are, they cannot wait to go to heaven, man. Everybody want to be a green bird. A green bird, huh? Hmm. You have to have mentally green issue, you know? Oh, look at this guy. Why he don't make you like, uh, have many colors? Why only green? I mean, what's wrong with this? Isn't it, this is nicer? Hmm? And look, now you are eating from the tree. Look, you see, he has something in his mouth. Hmm? Why only green bird? Isn't it boring in this heaven? Muslims will wear a green clothes. The birds are a green. Everything is a green. I think even the water is a green. I mean, what is this? All the Muslims will be wearing green silk. The murder will be green birds. I'm afraid that Allah himself is Mr. Green. Color of the money? Hmm. <clears throat> you see? Any Muslim have any comment? So you do die, you do jihad, and then Allah, he make you a green chicken. I mean, it's fun. What do you want more to be in? I mean, what, how higher than being a green chicken? That's amazing, beautiful. I mean, I think, I think this is the dream of every human being. We have to admit. Sound really uh, very uh, promising. Extremely promising. Any Muhammadan? You know, <clears throat> this is why when we started, I was showing you uh, like a picture in the beach because many of us imagine like the Muslim heaven is, is presented as a, something like so beautiful, uh, maybe beach and there is versions, so you play with those versions, uh, you know, uh, in the beach, you know, etc. But no, this is case does not exist. Those women, they will be in jail. Hmm? No women are wearing bikini or anything. And the tent is very, like, very close. Nobody can see what is inside. Which means it's going to be dark inside the tent. And you will see nothing. The women, they will see nothing. There is no beach. There is no fun. So if you think you will go and take those versions... Uh, if you think that those versions are like, uh, uh, what they call them? Marmaid coming from the beach, you know? No, my friend, you will not get that. No, sorry. No. You will be a green bird. I'm trying to find you a, a picture fit with the, with the topic. I'm getting nothing except a green chicken. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one is good. Yeah. So if you think I'm trying to be polite, you know, I'm not, I'm not showing what Allah He promised because those women they will be wearing see-through. There's no panties, and you know, I mean, you know. So the heaven of Allah, obviously, not only stupid and crazy, it's ugly, it's boring. 
Because, okay, let us say you are going to give me a tent and this tent is full of women and have a lot of food and... I mean, okay, you have one time six, three time, five time, seven time, ten time, twelve time, one hundred, and, and then... What is this? The God of Islam, he failed to mention love. What he is mentioning lost. Somebody, his private part will never go limp, as Muhammad promised in the hadith. No, CP. This hadith is weak, CP. Everything in Islam is weak, including your limp. Hmm? Everything in Islam is weak. Isn't this the case? <clears throat> Uh, this uh, week at the third EP. Everything, everything is. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to find the hadith. <coughs> hmm. Let me see what is the hadith. The one there is no one whom Allah will admit it to paradise that Allah will marry him to 72 wives, two from the Huris and 70 from his inheritance from the people of hell. By the way, the Muslim, they say, uh, I, I say that those women are hookers. They say, no, CP, where it says hooker CP is okay to see it together. What is, what is a special, what is something special about those women who Allah was going to bring them from, 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 from the hell? They are from hell. They are very bad. This, this is why they are there. What is the best of them? Is it their dignity? Is it their honor? Maybe they are virgins? No. The best about them, as your prophet described, is their boobs and their private part. Read it. Whom, whom will have what? What is special about them? Desirable front passages. <laughs> And he will have a male member that never became a flaccid, <laughs> i.e. soft and limp. <laughs> oh boy. So now, you, the green bird, what he will do? Do you think the green bird, his, uh, his, uh, his male member will never go soft? <laughs> What a stupid cult man. So now you are a chicken. And your private part it never goes to sleep. What you would do with it exactly? Can you explain to us, Allah? And those two 72, by the way, 72, this is the lowest reward, which means the murder, he would have a lot more. 80,000, 1 million, we do not know. So, uh, okay, you have 1 million, uh, you, you are a bird, a green bird, and your male member will never go to sleep. And now you have one million women. What you will do with them with this male member, which is hard to be found. I mean, if you are of a bird, uh, Abdul, uh, try to find the male member of the bird. I mean, it's going to be so, 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 so small. So, your Allah promising you that your male member will never go to sleep. And now you have 70 versions. Each one of them, her, she is 30 mile tall. 30 mile tall. 30 mile and you are a bird i mean if she is 30 mile tall her private part will be like what like bigger than the lake or lake tahoe in california like she is going to be a lot bigger i think it's going to be like the the great lakes in michigan her private part if she is 30 mile 
So what do you will do with the, your private part? And you are a bird now, and you think too small. You know what do you think? Uh, which is this? I am truly, truly convinced that Islam is a religion from God. No CP. This hadith is weak CP. Okay, why it's weak? What does that mean? You Muslim, you lie. You Muslim, you lie about your prophet. He did not say those things, and you make it up. Shame on you Muslims. That's why we say we can't trust Muslims. Because of the scholars of Islam collecting hadith and the Muslim, they say it is weak. That's mean Muslim scholars are a scumbag and nobody can be trusted in Islam. Those are the best of Muslims collecting. Look, it says it was narrated from uh, Ummah, uh, Abu Abu Ummah, the, that Messenger of Allah said. Okay. It's not narrated from the Christians, not narrated from the Jews, it's narrated from Muslims have names. But as you know, everything in Islam is da'if. Da'if Allah. By the way, when you go to heaven because you are da'if, Allah will increase your power as you see. Every Muslim, he will make 100 virgins lose their virginity every, uh, you know, every day. The Prophet of Allah, he will have the power of, four, of, of 100, uh, uh, <clears throat> so hold, hold on, 100 men. I'm trying to remember the hadith. 100 men I, I forgot really you know I'm, I'm not uh, concentrating now I don't know I, I forgot what is the exact number I think Muhammad will have the total number of 4,000 men for sex yeah every man sorry every man every Muslim man he will have the power to do 100 versions boom boom all right and I can show you the hadith here and then the prophet he will have the power of 40 men of those men so if every one of them have the power of 100 to do 100 that's mean the prophet will do 4,000 females <clears throat> what do you say 4,000 I mean, I'm really upset. You know, I go to heaven and now only I will do it 100 times. This is very upsetting. I mean, what's wrong? Only? I'm really disappointed. A rabbit can do it more. Only 100? Why? You, and, and why the prophet he will do it 40 times more than me you know not 40 times more than he's 40 times more than more than 40 men so he would have a ability to do 4,000 women how we can speak to Muhammad there he will be very busy 4,000 women a day I mean if 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 if, 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 if Muhammad is a machine for Pepsi Cola machine of Pepsi Cola will not make 4,000 cans a day Muhammad, he will make holes in 4,000 uh, 4, cans. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, what? He will have orgasm every two seconds? Oh, I forgot. In different hadith, the Prophet said that a Muslim will have an orgasm of 70 years orgasm. 70 years? So, I will do it 100 times a day, but yet my orgasm is 70 years each time. I mean, how that can work? How many 70 years will be inside one day? Guys, you understand what I'm saying? How every day you will do 100 women, yet your orgasm with one woman is 70 years. So now you are starting with second woman, but your orgasm is still, still going? 70 years? <laughs> You see, speaking about Muhammad will make you speak in languages. We speak in tongues, man. How in the world you will have 70 years orgasm, yet you will have 100 women a day? Explain to me how this will happen. Okay, you started with this woman. Okay, now let us say you finish after one hour. But your orgasm should last for 70 years. So 
how you can how you will do 100 women and you are still doing the first orgasm for the coming 70 years maybe and maybe in the heaven they have orgasm from their nose or something so that they have different limb to use so like he have sex with his private part down there and his orgasm is coming from his ears maybe or maybe his nose i'm, I'm not sure really this is very confusing hmm. <clears throat> Anyway, I'm, I'm, you know, like, uh, truly, truly, Islam is the best religion, brother. A brother and sister, did the person is never temperance, and I told him, no, TB. This is not the true TB. This is the Eve Hadith TB. And uh, as a Christian friend, he didn't, he didn't say the the the, the Eve Hadith. Any, any Mohammedan have a comment? <clears throat> okay, relax, relax. Forget about this topic. Forget about it. This is not a good topic anyway. Many of you are still single <clears throat> and uh, virgins. So, Islam did not promise us as a man that you will go to heaven. There's a woman, she will love you. You do not need to sign in a website. You know, okay, so you look ugly like Christian Prince. No women want to talk to you. You know, don't, don't don't worry, be happy. No, he didn't say that. Like, there's a woman, she will love you, she will be loyal to you, you will have happiness. No, 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 no. You don't even know their names. Those women, they are called whore. Like in English, you say whore. All of them, they sing the same song. All of them, they have one name. All of them, they have the same face. They have the same look. They have the same eyes. I mean, what the heck of this? So what is the point of having all those women if all of them look the same? They look exactly the same. So he's not promising me I will go to heaven and there is a woman, she will love me and we will walk in the beach. I will say to her, you have a beautiful eyes. She said to me, I wish I can say the same to you. <laughs> I will say to her, you have a beautiful face. She say, okay, CP, I wish I can say the same to you too, again. Okay, let's continue, forget about, don't say it. Please, can you stop repeating that? Keep saying, I wish I can say the same to you. Just don't do that, okay? Please, stop, please. I mean, I am now in heaven and you remind me of how I look like, please. <laughs> uh, and then you say to her, the Quran described that your balloon is big. Are they really big? <laughs> I mean, <coughs> I can't breathe. Oh man, what a stupid cult. I mean, aren't you going to be? Look at this. Uh, look, look at this translation. Look how translation changed from person to person. Look, just change the translator. Look at this. What happened? Mean women with big breasts. So, brother, I think the reason that women there and they're going to have very big, huge uh, breasts, uh, it's like it's going to be to help you in case there is tsunami. You know, especially if you are a Muslim who live in Indonesia, brother, and tsunami come to you, brother. It happened there a lot, brother. So if you have whore who have big boobs, brother, they will play like a balloon and you will survive a tsunami easy. Just hold your wife from her foot and her balloon will make you survive. Have you ever heard of a, of a God like this? Describing to us big boobs. And all of them, they have one age. All of them, they have one face. All of them, they have one name. All of them, they sing the same song. And they say the same words. Mean. <clears throat> <sighs> so now you are a bird and women they have big boobs uh -huh. 
Now what do you do with those boobs? You are a bird now. Hello? What exactly you would do with them? Please tell me. Please. You are a green bird, and those women, they have a big, huge boobs. So like, you know, you go to the women and you say to her, And the women, she will use a special computer for translation because she doesn't understand birds. And she will translate. Can you please take off your bra? And by the way, the Muslims now, they will uh, edit my video and they will cut my video. It says, see, Christian Prince saying to a woman, take off your bra. <laughs> what a bunch of potatoes. <clears throat> What is this man? I mean, this is so beautiful. I'm gonna go to heaven. I cannot wait. I mean, why are we even talking to you? Let me get uh, to do uh, jihad and brother and die and go and become a green bird. I mean, if this is the case, why all of you don't do it right now and be, be, become a green bird? You be a bunch of hypocrites. If you really, truly, truly believe in this, that if you die immediately, you will be in heaven. None of you will stay alive. Hmm. Me. And what, you know, this is like size does matter in Islam. English penis, big one mile ass, 30 mile women. I mean, what what, what this is about? Uh, sexual pleasure have nothing to do with your how big you are, my friend. What this is, what? So what if a woman, she don't have big boobs? What exactly? I mean, you, you feel like, you know, you have the... And if if an um, size and you know what about getting a cow? Cow is you know is bigger. And she have seven boobs, not only two. So you can be busy all day long. Do uh, adult uh, breastfeeding suckling. <clears throat> so anyway, I don't wanna I don't wanna damage your night. Uh, today is Saturday evening. I apologize. You know I made this topic, but. Pfft, a Muslim he posted a comment for me saying to CP you will never enter heaven I said to myself man I never I will never be a green bird I will never have those women with big boobs I mean man and look at the connection women with big boobs and the uh, grape <laughs> garden full of a grape and then right away the big boobs come after it actually they look the same if you think about it grape big boobs both you can squeeze them uh, genius allah i mean there's a connection here i mean how in the world do you want to eat a grape without boobs I mean, imagine you sit in the table and there's a grape, but there's no boobs. That's stupid, actually. Allah is a genius. And why all my life I'm eating grape, but there's no boobs? What I'm missing? What I'm missing? What I'm so missing, man? I'm unbelievable. And then full cup, I'm so glad it's not half cup. <laughs> it's full cup. It's full, brother. It's full. <laughs> Imagine you are going to the bar of Allah and you have a half cup. No way, it's full cup. <laughs> uh, you know, I was I was do I was doing heavy lifting, and I have a pain in my side, the side of my in the side of my back. I think one of my muscles is hurting me, and each time I laugh, it's hurt. <laughs> It really hurt. <coughs> oh boy. Full cup. I mean, this God, he promised me full cup. Okay, Allah, if it's half cup, but I will drink as much as I want. I mean, what the difference? 
a brilliant sister. This stupid Christian friends. He's saying there is no difference between full cup and half cup. Absolutely he's stupid. Because full cup is better than half cup. And I'll explain to you. As an example, how much time you are going to waste to fill the cup again? 50%. And that means you will make, you will lose time. Allah will make it full for you. You drink from it, it's full again. You drink from it, it's full again. But the brother, full cup or half cup, as long as going to stay half cup, doesn't matter how much I drink, it's the same. <laughs> oh boy. Unbelievable. <clears throat> now, be honest, how many of you is not convinced yet? Huh? <clears throat> How many of you is not convinced? I want to go to heaven. I will go to the garden. The garden full of a grape. And the women will call me babe. And they have a big huge balloon. Hello. In their hand there is a full cup. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. And if I beat them, they will not call the cops because Allah allowed me to beat them. Hello. Man. <clears throat> oh boy. What we can do? What we can do? What we can do with this super intelligent cult? What, Lisa, what are you doing? Tell them, tell them. Are you copying my, my, my music? I have copyright of it. Tell them. I want to go to the garden of Allah. La, 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 la. And those women are waiting, ting, ting. And all of them, they are crazy, zi, 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 zi. And all of them, they have a big zoo, 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 zoo. In case you do not know what Zuzu mean, 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 mean. Pray to Allah and say, Ameen, mean, 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 mean. And you will see it in the tafsir, rear, 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 rear. And actually, he will talk not only about the boobs, but their rear, rear, rear. Hello? I mean, what is religion talking about? The front passages, the rear passages, the bum, the ass, the, 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 the. Uh, the nipples i mean what is that i mean what is left and then the dad he will say to you <clears throat> do you have the courage to read the song of songs for your children <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> oh <clears throat> A cp tips fast access to speak english I don't know what does that mean. <coughs> no, he speak about the behind too. There's a hadith about Muslim women. Her, her ass would be one mile size. But it's in Arabic. <coughs> you know, it says her, her ass will be one mile, which is really disappointing. I mean, we are up, we like it big. I mean, one, one mile. What? Why then make it 10 mile? I mean, what you will lose? 10 mile, I can invite all my tribe like 500,000, you know, just one branch. And we can do hiking in the top of it for fun. Especially, it's very smooth. Uh, there's, there was a sheikh in, uh, in TV describing for the Muslim that Allah will soften the skin of every woman, will take him 1,000 years to soften the skin. So the guy who was, <clears throat> who was with me, uh, he said to me, do you know what Allah prepared for us? I said, uh, I think I know. He said, do you know that Allah now, right now, is softening the skin of women for us? I said, yeah, it's going to take him 1,000 years. He said, exactly. Do you see how much Allah cares for us? I said, I don't think he is caring for you. I think he is stupid. He said, why? <laughs> he got upset. He said, why are you saying that? I said, if he is the creator, why he don't create her? right away with soft skin why he is making her with hard skin and now he will spend 1000 years to soften the skin <laughs> i 
I mean, isn't it him the creator? Why you make her with such a skin need soften and will take you 1,000 years? I mean, how slow are you? Your God Allah never heard of a Vaseline. Your God Allah never heard of, a, of a, the cream women they use. 1,000 years to soften the skin. Why? She is made it from concrete. And you should see his mouth. His mouth was open. You know, he was shocked. He said, you know, you are really rude. But I think he said to me what uh, Zachary Mack, he said, uh, Brother, you get a point. <laughs> the theta didn't get a point. You have a point, theta. Yeah, I have a point. I mean, how stupid the promise is. You are the creator, and you want her to have her skin soft. So why you want to create a woman, and then you spend 1,000 years to make her skin soft? And isn't it Allah, he say, B is going to be? Where is the B? He lost the power of B when it's come to the skin. Can't he say B soft? So now he's trying sanding machine. And what about the <clears throat> those boobs? Are you going to spend 1,000 years to, to, to smooth them? <laughs> So we think that those women, they are virgins and they are young. It turned to be that they took 1,000 years to soften their skin, which means they are very old. She is not, a grand, she is not my grandma. She is a grand, 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 of a grandma, mama, mama, mama. <clears throat> anyway, what you can do? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you, bad boys, bad boys? Man, stupidity is amazing. Garbage in, garbage out. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I'm not going to keep you for long. It's Saturday night. And uh, uh, I wish I could invite some of you here. You can, you know, we can have some good time together. Uh, <clears throat> but I know most of you have a family and you are busy with stuff. Uh, I don't want to receive a call like the other lady. She called me once, you remember, a few days ago. Why you keep talking, you know, my brother, he is addicted to you. You know, stop, please. You know, like I was like, what? <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> if you are married and your wife, she's upset because you are sitting here with us, please don't do that. Okay, I will tell you a trick. Uh, use wireless Bluetooth hmm? now the Prophet of Allah he said you can lie in three cases <laughs> you can lie brother in the case of war and the brother you can lie to fix things between people and the brother you can lie to your wife unbelievable so if your wife, she asks you, brother, according to Islam, especially if you're Muslim, uh, are you listening to Christian Prince now? Mm, you say, no. She said, you swear by Allah? You say, I swear by Allah, I'm not. But you have a Bluetooth and you are listening to me. <laughs> Advice from the Prophet, peace upon him, what he can do. All of it is true and uh, legitimate and, uh, you know, ethical, very ethical. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, uh, do we have uh, uh, should we finish for today I don't want to keep you for long really how many of you watched the previous video did you guys watch it the previous video yeah, you can copy the bad boy as much as you want <clears throat> too late we are addicted to your videos no actually once I was this is in Pal talk I received a message from a guy it's a guy account like I know him he come to the mic sometimes smoke uh, speak uh, but it was his wife. He says, uh, Christian Prince, because of you, we are going to divorce. <laughs> because of me, what? We are going to divorce. <laughs> I said, who are you? <laughs> said, I am, I am his wife. My husband, he come, because, you know, I used to stay really long, many hours. You know, sometime, if I if I tell you, you know, maybe I'll not believe it. 12 hours, 13 hours. Because it was a big mission. You know, in less than six months, I made all those who converted to Islam, leave Islam in Pato. So anyway, I used to stay really, really long. People go to sleep, they come back, still I am, you know, debating Muslims. Uh, she said, he don't sit with us. He don't eat with us. He don't talk to us. He is. He come from work. He sit in the front of the computer. Until you, you know, he, he don't go to sleep. Until you, you know, you go to sleep. So I said to him, you know, listen, you know, I said, okay, let me talk to your husband. 
I told him, listen, from now on, I will let you stay in my in my room. It's a chat room, you know, two hours only. After two hours, I will bounce you. There is an option. He can bounce him, so he cannot even hear anything. He will get out of the, ch the chat room. So every two hours, I bounce him. <laughs> every day, he have only two hours allowance to be in my room. And this is how we save the marriage of this man. <clears throat> anyway, uh, our topic is stupid. Islam is stupid. But we are not stupid, right? We are very intelligent people. And nobody, no fool can fool us. It's a shame if a fool can fool you. And the question then would be, if a fool can fool you, how fool are you, right? Think about it. Isn't it obvious that this is stupid, silly promise? A garden have a grape. Full cup. Big boobs. I mean, if you are a painter, try to put them together and see, I mean, what this guy is talking about. Right? <clears throat> um, I found out it's stupid. Muslims claim the Arabic uh, Bible also use Allah, but Allah in the Arabic Bible has a son. Yeah, but you know, the Arabic Bible, this is a translation. This is not original. So this is a false translation. So what? The same as the Muslim they use in their English Quran, Jesus. But there is no Jesus in the Quran. Go and search for the Quran. There is in Arabic the name of the Messiah is Yes Yeshua, Yeshua in Hebrew Yeshua. So there is no Yeshua and there is no Yeshua in the Quran. There is a guy. His name is Isa. So if their logic about Allah is exist in a Bible of in, uh, in, in Arabic, this is a translation. The translator is a stupid. <clears throat> none of my business for me I go by my Bible my Bible is the Greek the Arami the original we don't have Allah uh, should I take care of the hadith always clean always clean your throat <clears> throat> I take care of your health oh no, don't worry you know <clears throat> My health is good, you know, I'm, I'm, thank God, you know, I don't really get sick. Rarely I get sick, really, really. I don't go to hospitals, I don't even have uh, health, health insurance. And, um, you know, God is good. Uh, <clears throat> I just get hurt. My, uh, my side is hurting me now. I did, I did lift something really, really heavy. You know, it's not good for one person to, to carry it. But, I, I you know, I, I always... Uh, uh, you know, I, I can carry really uh, heavy stuff, uh, but it uh, looked like I did it in the wrong way. So it looked like a wrong move. So this, my side is a little bit hurting me. I think it's a missile. Need uh, some, uh, I, I had to be called the virgins to do massage. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, thanks God. Everything is good. <clears throat> uh Full cup for you when you go to heaven? No, I want the half cup. What I, what, what I would do? Full cup actually is not even good because you, you cannot walk with it. You, you will split the uh, drink on the floor. Half cup is the best way to do it. This way it's secure. You can even run with it. Right? No, I don't go to hospitals. No, it's not. It's nothing. It's just real. I can feel like it's the, the muscles. I don't like hospitals. I don't go to hospitals even I'm, even if I'm dying. You know, I'm not in a fan of uh, such a thing. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, I need massage. <laughs> you know, there's a video on YouTube speaking about that Allah. He spoke about heart massage. Where is that? It's in the Quran, brother. He really? Allah, he spoke about heart massage. <laughs> I mean, look how, it, how they lie. The verse there is about a guy who was killed violently by a sword. What does this have to do with the heart massage? Allah, he told Musa, be the guy with the cow tail or organs. And that will bring him to life. He's dead. This is not heart massage. So look, the liars, they say, heart massage, 
to save somebody from dying is mentioned in the Quran. But that verse is not about that. The verse is about a guy who got killed already is dead. And now we have to beat him, not his heart, by cow. This is why the chapter of Al-Baqarah is called in such a thing, you know. The name of Al-Baqarah, the cow, the reason they name it this way, because supposedly a guy was killed and didn't know who killed him. So Allah, he told uh, uh, the Prophet to bring some uh, cow organs and hit the dead guy uh, by the organs of the, uh, the cow. And then the guy will come back to life. <clears throat> and this is how Allah, he bring people from death. So Allah, the Hindu God, he will beat you in the day of resurrection by a cow. And this is how you come back to life. If you don't believe me, go and open the, the interpretation, chapter 2, verse number 73. You know? If you don't believe me, right now, open it. I'm lazy. Hmm? Or you want to open it for you? Hmm, lazy. Okay, hold on. Let me open it for you. <coughs> uh, cow, huh? And this is why in USA, if you come into the FBI uh, building, they have a big freezer they have a lot of cow inside why anyone get killed they bring him they hit him with the cow he wake wake up they ask him who killed you he say the name of christian prince and then he die right away right away he just wake up he, he say the name he die brother true story yes the true this is not a fabricated story it's the true story and this is how allah you know uh, you know, he resurrect people from death. <clears throat> uh, let us see. There we go. Okay, this is the interpretation. Read with me carefully. <clears throat> and we say it, submit him. The murder person with some of it with an organ of a cow <laughs> and also said with its tail or tongue <laughs> so you know so now you are dead and christian prince is going to you know is going to hit you with the tail of the cow if 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 if, if. and that will bring you from death and then you wake up like a zombie and you say, the one who killed me, his name is Abdul Muhammad. And you die again. I mean, do you see this is a, this is super, super, super story. Yeah, and this is how Allah, he bring people from death by hitting them by a cow. So my friend, I advise you, all of you, to keep a tail of a cow in your refrigerator. God forbid any one of your family, he pass away. Well, easy. You know? With the tail of the cow or the private part of the cow or whatever you have and then he will come back to life brother he die again hit him again <laughs> unbelievable true story <sighs> and the funny it says and this is how allah he do resurrection the hindu god the hindu god he used cow i'm not i can't say hindu god now because Hindus will not allow him to kill the cow for the sake of stupid thing. Right? <clears throat> oh boy. Crazy, crazy cult. And you have to be mentally ill to believe in such insanity. Madness, huh? Isn't it madness? Oh boy. All right, guys, I think we have enough for today. I want to say thank you. Thank you for those who support us by donation, too. I appreciate your support. Uh, don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends, add subtitle if you are a person who speaks other languages, so more and more people, they can, you know, uh, enjoy uh, learning 
you know my video it might be entertaining to many of you but sadly this is stupid things there is people they are willing to die for it my friend this is a very dangerous cult this is very dangerous cult make people go and lose their mind so <clears throat> we laugh we laugh but in the same time this is a very ugly disgusting religion go and read the news every day thousands of people die in the name of such a stupid cult this is how dangerous it is wherever this cult goes horrible things happen peace run away war is coming bloodshed and justice and yet nobody claim and nobody talk about justice as they do nobody speak about dignity as they do nobody speak about ethic as they do but when you go to their land all of those things are not exist if you don't believe me ask any refugee a refugee come into your country why is there actually why they are why the refugees are coming because in their land there is no dignity no respect for a human no human right nothing you know this is the land of death Islam bring nothing it's a curse Islam is a curse destroy it's, it's like uh, what they call it, the loctos they go inside the green land they turn it into desert dry empty even the roots of trees will go dry this is the cult of death so not only for me as a believer Islam will take you to hell for me as a human Islam is anti-human anti-freedom anti-happiness Islam promote ugly stuff like sex with the children and forbidden beautiful stuff like music and art so instead of you know I have a I have a I have a energy I want to let us say use it in a good thing so now Islam forbid me from music forbid me from uh, even like dancing or even singing or forbid me from a drawing because it's haram so what is allowed what what I can do in this cult you can have sex with children have four wives and eat and shit excuse my language that's it that's your you know this is what Islam is about will make you a creature losing your humanity you see human being one of the things about him he enjoy music he create music he enjoy art he create art he's a creative Islam will take the creativity from from you you are not allowed to be creative you are just a creature who is going to obey rules made by a stupid man exist 1400 years ago promising us all stupid stuff so Islam is strip you from your brain from your ability from your energy from all good to be just a slave of hate and murder not to be a loving peaceful creative I mean you know some people they see you the Quran is so beautiful you know the Quran my friend they bring for you somebody have nice voice if, if you have a nice voice whatever you're saying is going to sound good especially if you don't understand the language you know even if you're singing about word about poo -poo and, uh, and and piss as long as you have a nice voice you enjoy the sound of a nice voice but the Quran itself is disgusting it's stupid Islam take the joy from you take your human side make you just a creature an animal who look at women just in a, in a in a, as an animal look at food as an animal look at life as an animal not as a human human is a person who can you know admire art enjoy art human he you know he enjoyed that God have gave him a hand and this hand is connected to a brain and this, this brain can and the hand they can function together which animals cannot do to create something for beauty not for eating all animals they do the same they do things just for eating for surviving a human being is different a human being not only he do what is good for surviving he do what is good for fun art beauty painting 
music. All of this is forbidden in Islam. So if you like music, Islam is actually according to Muhammad, if you play with the music, Allah will put your, you know, will burn you in hell forever. You know, if you if you if you if you draw, if you paint, Allah will torture you in the heaven, in his hell, sorry. Everything is haram, chess is haram, I mean all kind of fun is haram. So what if why we exist? To be a slave because this is a religion of slavery so i want to say thank you guys for being here i'm not going to hold you for long many of you have a family and i would like you to spend your time with your family uh, uh, happy uh, weekend happy sabbath for those who they are in sabbath and happy sunday for those who they are in sunday and you know for me at the end of the day i really enjoy what i do when i see muslims leaving islam Every day, every day, I witness new Muslims leaving Islam. And the Muslim, they make videos saying, Christian Prince, he tricked Muslims to leave out of Islam. The fact is, the one the, the one who tricked you is the one who promised you private part. I promised them no private part. I just showed them how stupid it is. How I can be tricking them? I'm just reading the screen in front of them what Islam is about. How God can be like Allah? This crazy, stupid idea. So human human being should be, uh, you know, because he's gifted, God, he gave him a gift. He should be smarter. He should be more intelligent. And he should not allow a fool like Muhammad to fool him. And it's my advice. You know, don't let a fool fool you. That's a shame. Use your brain. Uh, <clears throat> All Muslim countries, they have music. That is telling you that no Muslim want to listen to Islam no more, including Saudi Arabia. All Muslims, they enjoy music and belly dancing. And actually, I'm not going to mention other stuff, you know. But the outside, you see, Islam is like a taboo grave. The outside is covered by marble. They try to make it covered by marble. But that marble is broken now and everybody can see what is inside. What is inside is really dark as night. Those who live in the Middle East, they knew what I'm talking about. So, anyway, I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, I'm so glad that we did not lose the internet today. I mean, that's strange. <clears throat> um... Usually we lose it before we finish. So anyway, thank you very much, guys. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you, um, maybe tomorrow again, uh, maybe tomorrow at night, or maybe morning, I'm not sure. Depend on my time. Until I see you again, Christ is Lord, and Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.